welcome to quick learning in this video we will learn how to change a list of orders collectively in SAP using IW38 transaction code and in this change we can open any order we can change it we can get a list of orders we can release the orders collectively and we can complete the orders collectively so this is very useful transaction code this is IW38 we will write it in transaction tab we will press enter and it will show us a new window completely where we can have a complete details of orders that we want so in the first tab you can see we have outstanding in process completed historical so what we need to do uh, what is our requirement we want to see the completed orders or historical in process and outstanding so I have selected the two first two options that is outstanding and in process so the next is order if we know exactly the order numbers we will write here or we will go to multiple selection and we will copy a list of orders but if we do not know the orders the number order numbers we will write the order type here either it's uh, PM0, uh, PM01 or PM02, M1, M2. So uh, we will write here. What are the other? Other is the function location. If we know exactly the function location, we can select the orders that are created on a particular function location and we can select our orders here. If we know the equipment number, we can write equipment number here. And what we will do? We will be able to see the complete list of orders that are created on this particular equipment next is material if we have some particular material code we will we will be able to see what are the orders that are created for this particular material code similarly going down we have notification work center plant work center and going down the date or the period if we select a particular period of time it will show us all the orders that are created in this particular period of time going down there are other options available that we can use that is planning plant entered by created on description basic start date finish date so these all, all are these are the all of these are available as the filters or, at, or as the searching criteria that we have and we can use any one of these to get the desired list of orders for our system so what I we will start by an example for example I do not know what are the uh, you can you can see what are the order numbers so first example is we only want to search through the order type so what we will do <coughs> we will write here a particular order type for example I write here PM01 I write PM01 and this is the period that is visible here 1-1-2022 so I want to see all the orders that are created um, during this period of time and its type should be PM01 I will press execute and you will see the list of orders that are available so it is it is uh, giving this message and you can see that all the orders that are created in PM01 are available you can s open any one of these and you can perform any option as per your need any action that uh, that you require okay so next one is for example I want to search the orders that are related to any equipment but I do not know the equipment number exactly so what I can do I will go to multiple selection the search tab will appear I will write the maintenance plant I know the maintenance plant but I do not know the equipment number the equipment number exactly so all the equipments 382 equipments are installed on this particular uh, maintenance plant so what I will do I will go down and I can select any one of these that are particular or that are for my use I will select this one KHS palletizer TA36K P in Opal B so this is my cost center this becomes my equipment number I will select it it will come here now when I will press execute button what it will do it will show me all the orders that are created during this period of time 
so you can see only three orders are created for this particular equipment and these are the order numbers <clears throat> so what were the actions that I, uh, I i i asked in the start that what action can we perform <clears throat> sorry so you can see here for this order this is the description is here it is pm02 it is is in release state already and the total planned cost was 1.6 million similarly for second you can see the planned cost was 4.4 million and the actual cost was 1.75 million similarly for the third order you can see the plan was this. so we are completely able to see all the summary of costs that have incurred on this particular order so what are the other functions that we can do so it is very interesting for example I select all these three rows all the orders and I can just release the orders collectively using the above green flag if I press this green flag all the orders will be released for example if you have a list of 100 orders you can just select all the 100 orders simultaneously and their release will be carried out similarly for the next white and black colored flag this we can complete technically all these orders by just pressing this flag so you can see instead of opening all the orders one by one using IW32 transaction code we can use this IW38 transaction code to get the list of orders all the list of orders and to change these PM orders simultaneously so this is very useful transaction code if you want to perform any activity simultaneously on a lot of orders for any single plant or any for, for any functional location so i hope this video has been very useful for all of you for any questions you can just write in uh, comment section please uh, like and share this video and subscribe our channel until next time bye bye